What up, everybody? Last time we saw Tariq St. Patrick in Power Book 2 Go, Season 4, Episode 5, he was at an ultrasound appointment with Diana Tejada, who was pregnant with his child. Earlier in the episode, Tariq hooked up with the daughter of Noma, Anya Covington. But either though Tariq already has two females that he's dealing with right now, I still got to ask the question, will Tariq end up getting back together with Effie? Because I don't think Tariq has feelings for either Anya or Diana in the same type of way he did Effie. Concerning Anya, Tariq is just now getting to know her after hooking up with her one time when they were both drunk. And only hired at her in the first place as a way to get leverage over Noma. And concerning Diana, her and Reek are cool, but she's been more of his rebound chick than a female he looked at as someone he would be in a relationship with. Tariq has hooked up with Diana twice now, both times being on the rebound. The first time he hooked up with her is when he got out of jail, and him and Lauren had recently just ended things. And the second time he hooked up with Diana is when him and Effie just broke up. Then when Diana went to talk to Tariq after they hooked up the second time, he straight up told her to do what's best for her because he just can't anymore after Effie. Letting us know that Tariq was either so hurt by what Effie did he couldn't move forward in a new relationship or he didn't actually want to be in a relationship with Diana in the first place. Possibly a combination of both. In season one, Tariq was trying to hook up with Lauren Baldwin. And in season two, they got together. But after Tariq was charged with the double murder and the two broke up is when Tariq got back together with Effie. And Effie told Tariq that she never liked him with Lauren because he could never be his real self around her. And in my opinion, the only people Tariq is completely comfortable really being himself around is Effie, Tasha, and Brayden. With Effie being the person Tariq feels the closest to and most comfortable talking to. For example, when he found out that Diana and Drew betrayed him and tried having his mother killed, the first person he went to talk to was Effie. Even after all they'd been through, Tariq still turned to Effie to talk about his problems, even over Tasha or Brayden. But at this point when he went to talk to her, she was still pissed off at Tariq for playing her to get Roman taken off the board. In season 2 when Effie went to check on Tariq after he got released on Bond, Tariq also felt comfortable enough to tell Effie everything what happened concerning both Ramirez and Jabari. Like Monet said when she met Effie for the first time, so Tariq likes to pillow talk. And that's definitely the case with Effie at least. I don't know about any of the other females he's been with. Again, showing his bond with Effie. Even when Tariq was pissed off at Effie in the car on the way to the crime scene where she tried to kill Lauren, Tariq straight up confessed to Effie that he killed both Ray Ray and his father, just hoping that Effie would come clean to him about what she did to Lauren. In season one, Tasha was talking crazy to Tariq from jail, really trying to turn him into a complete monster, telling him that he needed to dead both Epiphany and Tamika Washington, two bodies that I'm glad Tariq didn't have to catch personally. But at this time again, Tariq went to yell to talk to Effie, telling her that his mother wants him to do something very bad and that he's not a monster. But Effie told Tariq that he is a monster and that she accepted it about herself when she turned him in at show. And the sooner he accepts it about himself, the better off he'll be. During this conversation, Tariq also told Effie she's the only person who understands him, that he doesn't know how to be different, and all he knows is what his parents taught him. Then going all the way back to Power Season 6 when Effie was first introduced and got into a relationship with Tariq. She got Tariq to open up to her for what might have been the first time in his whole life opening up to anybody. Telling her about his sister and Kanan and how he was out of product. Because of that, Effie and Tariq's bond is just different. Like Effie told Diana in Season 3. We can even tell from the conversations that Tariq and Effie had in season 3 that Tariq really envisioned himself being with Effie for the long term. Right after Tariq killed the Russian boss and they ran into the Italian restaurant, Tariq was comparing his and Effie's relationship to his parents and saying that him and Effie could be like his mom and dad but smarter. Then when Effie compared them to Bonnie and Clyde, Tariq responded and said they would be like Thomasine in Bushra. 
On their trip to Italy, before getting interrupted by Noma, Tariq was telling Effie how he just wanted them to be like a normal couple, go to the market, and then come home and argue over what show they were going to binge watch next. But all that came to an end when they got back from Italy and Tariq found out the truth that Lauren was still alive and Effie went behind his back to try to kill her. And when they broke up is when Tariq hooked up with Diana and got her pregnant. The next morning, Effie went to talk to Diana about teaming up and working together only to find out that Tariq spent the night in Diana's dorm room. We can tell by the look on Effie's face that she was hurt seeing this. A lot of people would have started a big fight right then and there, but Effie decided to hurt Tariq where it counts instead, his pockets. Using her hacking skills to hack into course correct to shut it down before getting stopped by Kane. And yes, Effie did hook up with Kane after Tariq and her broke up, but is there any chance that seeing Tariq and Diana together like that impacted Effie's decision to hook up with Kane? Or was it the fact that he paid for her school tuition? Again, likely a combination of both. But since Effie and Tariq broke up in Season 3, Effie's tried getting back with Tariq twice now. The first time is when she got out of jail. She tried seeing if they were cool, saying that Tariq got her back by setting her up with the sugar coke and the cops. Then after Effie told Noma about Tariq targeting Anya, she tried talking to Tariq after class, saying she made it up to him by telling him that Kane was on campus looking for him. But in Tariq's eyes, all that didn't equal out, and he still wanted nothing to do with Effie at that time. She told him that she was pissed off, and she didn't think that Noma would actually try to kill him. And I don't know if she could be that naive or not, but she wasn't there when Noma executed Rocky for just saying her name. So maybe she didn't realize how savage Noma was. But I think she was just more in her feelings, looking out for herself first. Like Tasha said about Ghost and Angela, they always look out for themselves first. And either though I do believe Tariq and Effie love each other, they're no different. They will always put themselves first. Because at the time when Effie got out of jail and tried getting back with Tariq, he rejected her and intended on cutting her out of the business also. So Effie was really just thinking about how she was going to survive. She doesn't have an estate paying for her school like Tariq did or even her food or housing. She has to hustle for everything. So betraying Tariq was more of a survival decision. But we could see Effie's true feelings towards Tariq when she was in jail. Davis knocked on the door to leave the interrogation room when Effie asked if that was Tariq. And ever since Power Season 6, Effie and Tariq have hooked up at least one time every season. Leaving the question, will they get back together again in Season 4 before the series concludes? Or are Effie and Tariq done for good? And also, how will Effie respond when she finds out that Diana is pregnant with Tariq's child? Would Effie actually try to make a move against Diana? Is that why Tariq is next to a hospital bed with a tear in his eye in the teaser? And also, how will Effie feel about Tariq hooking up with Anya? Will Effie take advantage of this herself to find her way out the game and get to Stanford? There have been several comparisons made between Lauren and Angela and Tasha with Diana. What if Effie's the best of both worlds, a combination of both, and the perfect partner for Tariq? And before I finish, let me ask the question. If Tariq was able to go into the next book with only one female, who would you want it to be? Effie, Diana, Lauren, or Anya? We can even add Destiny to the list. Or none of them. Leave your answer as well as your thoughts, theories, and predictions in the comments.